WCBSTV.com. Surgery is a frightening experience for anyone to face, but even more so when it involves a child. CBS 2's Dr. Holly Phillips scrubbed in on a new, minimally invasive procedure used to help save a little boy's life. I know where that you get this. Camilo Herrera is a happy and active six-year-old boy, but he has a large bronchogenic cyst in his lung. And you can see here that there's a mass about the size of a tennis ball that's sitting sort of right behind his heart and to the middle of him from his left lung. That's large. Maybe in the future it's a danger problem for us. We, we prefer to, to, to correct right now. The usual surgery for this requires what's called a thoracotomy. It leaves a scar running from the chest around the body to the back and can have long-term effects. There's some evidence that uh, having a thoracotomy incision Get, uh, can lead to scoliosis in some children and also muscle weakness in their shoulders. Camilo will have a new procedure only available at a few centers nationwide and one that gives his parents some relief. We are a little bit nervous. Oh, it's it's okay. normal in, with, with fathers. Traditional surgery in kids often requires a large incision because their bodies are small in relation to the surgeon's hands. That's why minimally invasive surgery is so important. Today, we'll take out the mass itself, and we won't take out any part of his good lung. This will allow the good lung to expand into that space where this mass used to be. The laparoscopic surgery involves just three tiny incisions. Cameras are used to locate the mass, then it's deflated and removed. The main differences with the minimally invasive surgery versus the old technique initially is going to be that he is going to feel much better tomorrow. Minimally invasive surgery still has risks, including problems with anesthesia and infections, but its benefits, especially less pain, make it ideal for children. Dr. Holly Phillips, CBS 2 News. And an update for you, Camillo surgeon at Morgan Stanley Children's Hospital spoke to Dr. Phillips just following that operation, and he told her that it went very well, and the young patient went home the very next day. Good for Camillo. We wish him well. That's it for us at 5. For Lonnie and the entire CBS 2 News team, thanks so much for joining us. Have a great weekend. I'm Chris Raggy. And I'm Christine Johnson. The news continues now. Right now at 6 on the wrong side.